for a few minutes, I'd like to talk to you about a place called Penny. A place called Penny. In Irvin's concise handbook of the Bible, the name Pentateuch is given to the first five books of the Bible. It comes from two Greek words meaning five scrolls. Erdman also says that it is better to think of the Pentateuch as one book divided into five sections rather than five books rolled into one. In this way, justice is done not only to its Hebrew origin, which means Torah or law, or the fifth, fifth, the five fifths of Moses, but it also, in its own inherent way, shows unity. The book of Genesis has been described as an epic on a grand scale. It begins at the very beginning where God made the world that was good and he made man. The apex of all his creation. Chapter 1 through 11 which is known as the prologue provides us with the general history of man over the years. Right. How everything was swept away by a great flood and a new beginning is made only to end in the folly of Babel and the division and the dispersion of the nation. Right. Chapter 12 of Genesis <laughs> In chapter 12 of Genesis, the emphasis shifts from the history of man in general. We now focus down to a story of a single individual, Abraham and his descendants. Genesis takes the story on through Isaac and to Jacob. And as we end the book of Genesis into the death of Joseph in Egypt. But our focus today will be about the story of Jacob. His story begins in about the 25th chapter of the book of Genesis. The scripture that we just read that talks about Peniel is the glory for Jacob. Uh -huh. But before we get to understand his glory, uh -huh. we ought to know just a little bit about his story. Uh -huh. So knowing that, I'm going to go back and then we're going to come up uh -huh. to see about what happened in the uh -huh. life
Shereen!